Hey guys, welcome back. Hybrid32494 here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a pair of some of the cheapest possible shoes I was able to find on Amazon. I'm going to put up a couple pictures here. I'll show you how they basically came shipped to me and uh, a couple of these little images from the actual Amazon website so you could see exactly what I'm talking about it while I was making the purchase itself. So these shoes are actually 100% genuine leather according to the listing and it is a top suede material. The inside uh, says 100% cowhide. So this is kind of similar to a non-synthetic material. I would say it is uh, some kind of leatherish material. Uh, the shoes themselves are fairly light. Uh, you do feel the weight actually in the soles themselves, which are a really smooth and soft type of rubber uh, compound. They're fairly flexible, I would say, for a pair of uh, dress shoes of this sort. Um, the laces are waxed. It's exactly as what you would expect and uh, stays true to the actual posting on Amazon. So this particular model is a size 10. I was able to get a fantastic deal on it. I paid only $9.90 for it. Um, there was some kind of uh, clearance sale from the seller, uh, free shipping, and uh, with Amazon Prime came to my house within three days. I ordered it on Tuesday, it arrived on Friday. Uh, it was packaged in this kind of little bag here. The brand is Kunsto. Don't know what that is, I've never heard of it. Uh, the shoes themselves have insoles. It also says the same thing, Kunsto here. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's actually take out the insole and we'll see what the bottom of the shoe is and what it's made of. Alright, so this is the insole itself. Fairly normal, uh, kind of a soft type of material. Nothing odd about it, I would say. Pretty standard. It's not memory foam or anything, but it's fairly smooth. And it looks like it'll have a good type of uh, long life here. The interior of the shoe is uh, hard. It's basically some kind of hard compound right here. Uh, the soles weren't glued in as you saw. Um, down down at the bottom here, you basically have the same type of material as, I hope you guys can see it, as you would have from basically any shoe. Nothing there, uh, nothing exceptional there. There's also, interestingly enough, no markings on the shoe at all. Like, I know for a fact this is a size 10, but nowhere in the shoe does it say what size it is. Nowhere in the bottom, nowhere on the tongue. I looked all in there, no markings on the tongue, no markings here on the sides. Uh, there's only kind of like this model number right here. So, um, but you can't readily identify what size that is. But this is a size 10 uh, and we are going to put it on and I'm gonna give you my impression of what they look like uh, with a normal pair of dress pants and what they feel like and whether they are true to size. All right, so here I am is a couple of uh, walking shots of me wearing these shoes. They look pretty great actually with some regular dress pants. Um, it's pretty easy to move my foot in them. I don't feel anything kind of constricting my toe. Uh, they are very true to size. I normally wear a size 10 and they are perfect actually. The Nike sneakers I usually do 10 and a half to 11 because they are extremely narrow. But these are great, so if you're a size 10, you could easily get them. 11, you could easily get those too. Thanks. 